All right, we're gonna say welcome back, Tamagotchi. It is time to get back into things. So let's go ahead and we'll uh, start the old timer back up. Just like that, and away we go. Uh, I think where we left off, they had all basically just gone to the bathroom for the most part, maybe. Except for maybe him. Flip Pit 2 had not yet. There we go, so now he's all happy. Um, Flip Pit is the only one who is not yet an adult. He is five years, but only 21 pounds. Uh, I need to feed him a little bit more here. I'll probably give him like a carrot or something. Uh, Boring became an adult and has already competed in one competition. And then Chineko needs a little bit of extra help. He's uh, year 6 and 32, so he needs some extra stuff. But let's, let's feed Flip Pit some food so he can possibly grow for us. I don't know the best thing to feed him. Oh, I thought you liked carrots. I thought he was the one that liked carrots, but I guess I'm wrong. Alright, you're full. You're happy. Uh, you needed more fun in your life. So we do that by doing the smile game. So we speed run the smile game. So you're happy, you're good, you're fully fed. No, you're not fully fed anymore. Uh, do you like the carrots? No, you don't? Okay, well, at least you're eating. Crazy if you're eating your food. Confused by that, okay. Um. Do a smile game to get your fun stat up. Okay, five lefts. Closer. Well, if you would actually like move right instead of left, then we wouldn't be having this problem, would we? There you go. One more. Legs left. There we go. So you're good there, but you do need food. Let's get you some meat. That should fill you up. Let's, um, so I'm trying to get you to do your IQ thing, so let's, let's keep doing, we're doing our study game here. I'm pretty sure I can't do the tournament, though. Crazy for doing so good on that one. Oh, are you transforming? No, oh, you're spoofing again already? Alright, that's cool. 
That's a quick one. You need more fun. Uh, let's get you more fun. Clearly the wrong way to go. Yay. I'm just kind of writing this day out because I can't fast forward time. Uh, and then probably in like 10 minutes or so the next day will start. And then uh, we'll be able to do new tournaments because I'm pretty sure... And tapped out. Um, what I could do is try to get this. I could get. Could try to get boring to. Do the. Sports game. This is impossible, by the way. Absolutely impossible. No idea how you're supposed to catch nine when you can't go fast enough to actually catch nine. Pure guessing games, you know. Yeah. Welcome to this one, Twitches. How are you? Yeah, I got that one. Wasn't too bad. I'm hoping this will be the last night of Tamagotchi. Uh, I have a feeling I only have to do like one or two more in-game days of this and then I'll be good um, I think I actually need to probably have Chinook go lose a little bit of weight by doing this sports game as well I think you got your vote in already, so I'm not gonna ask you for your vote in the next round of stuff. I got uh, another grouping of Game Boy games coming my way, which is I bought like over a hundred just to get like 15 that I needed, <laughs> and so uh, I'll be doing some reselling pretty soon too. That's not bad. Eight out of ten. That's pretty good. After those come in, at least. Uh, let's see here. So you're good on that. You need a little more food. Let's get you bread. And then we're gonna hope that you'll grow tonight. Crazy for going to the bathroom and calling me. Oh, you don't give a shit. Uh, no, I'm not gonna feed you anything. You are about to call me as well. So when one goes to the bathroom, the other one goes shortly thereafter. There it goes. The adults are on a schedule. They are in sync with each other. Feed you a little bit of bread. Get 
And then we will do a study game with you again. I want to keep you sharp for when the uh, tournament comes. I know his uh, meter is all maxed out, but I want to make sure... I don't know how much... I really don't know how the game works. I try to guide him. Doesn't always work. Alright. Now we got Praise for doing a good job at the game. Oh, are you pooping again too? By that phrase, okay. You need more fun. <laughs> Another one where it was just five less in a row. It's amazing how often that's happened tonight already. Ten minutes in. Thirteen minutes in, my mistake. Alright, so you're full up on that. You're oh you need food. Okay, let's give you some food. Give you some meat. Should be all good now. Do I want to hear an odd fact? I guess so. As long as it's not like a spoiler for the game or something, then sure, let's go for it. You good on food? You are not good on food. You need more food. Uh, let's feed you some meat. Now you should be like all full up. Okay, so now you need more fun. And then I'll probably send him to the uh, study game here in a second. Alright, so you're good there. Study game. You can have to see. This guy knows. All right. Here goes some motorcycles. In the Battle of Verdun, over a million art artillery shells were fired into a 19 mile wide stretch of land in the first 12 hours. I don't know what to say to that, honestly. War as hell. <laughs> How about that one? <laughs> uh, let's see here. I wish that never had been anywhere. Let's get you some. Does carrots help you think? I don't know if one type of food is better for the different contests or anything.
I have such a hard time maxing out their... their body score, because I think you have to get the C rank thing in order to do it, and it's, like, impossible. It's honestly, like, all guesswork, so... So you can't get over fast enough once you see it starting to drop down. I'll try B. I mean, maybe if you do B enough times it will max out, but I just don't know. I haven't seen that happen yet, so I don't know. That should, I mean... The other thing is, like, some of these should count, because they are, I, they're reaching before the, uh... Ball hits the ground. <laughs> so what you're saying is Richard Gear is dealing with the raccoon instead of a a gerbil. Is that what you're trying to get at? <laughs> Two away, but it's still too far. Well, can't get anything. We're gonna hit B and cancel out. Right again. God damn. Ugh. So I'm just gonna cancel out when I probably know I can't get it, you know? They don't get faster. Yeah, I think I heard about that last one as well. Wasn't... maybe it's a... Maybe it's a movie I'm thinking of. But wasn't there like some ancient creature that just recently became alive again? It was like the... you know, basically became uh, reanimated after being thawed out. Oh, you're tired. Okay, so you're not transforming. You're just going to sleep. Um, it wasn't like its smallest bacteria. It was like some sort of actual like multicellular organism, but it basically became reanimated after being frozen for millions of years and does not exist otherwise in the world or something like that. So really weird how how life is going. Just think of all the fun new diseases we'll discover. I blame the Tamagotchi. They're bringing them all over here. Uh, there's nothing else I need to do. What? These guys need to go to sleep now. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth trying to do anything else with these guys. I wish I could speed up time.
Oh, bullshit. That's the first time I've gotten a nine. I wonder if it counts. Got a pretty easy for that nine. That was awesome. Does that bump me up a level? No. Alright, let's keep you fed. So you need your energy. Oh, bedtime, huh? And bedtime. Alright, cool. So I can skip forward. Welcome to awake time. Alright, you're max fun again. Need to up your IQ. I can't believe he's still a child. Uh, I need to up the body again. I need to feed. Let's feed you meat. Alright, you're happy, but you might be hungry. Uh, let's feed you meat as well. Get everyone some breakfast meats, I'm assuming. Oh, actually, you're full. You don't need anything. <clears throat> we're gonna get you ready for a tournament, though. So we're gonna do the uh, sports game with you. this guy for doing well in the game. Alright, so I need to uh, IQ him up a couple times at least. What? Why are you dumb again? This isn't good. Uh, you're bad. You're bad at this. You're supposed to be my star pupil. You're, I'm entering the tournament with you, am I not? Oops, I actually do not mean to do that. Two's all right. Two's okay. Good job on that. Uh, you need more fun and you need more of the body. You need more IQ, you need more body, you need more IQ, body. <sighs> Welcome, Nensen. How are you? I'm on what could potentially maybe be the last day of Tamagotchi or 
the last um, play session for Tamagotchi, I should say. What just happened there? I did them all. I've been, yeah, I've been trying to keep tabs of what's going on with this. Uh, the main takeaway, I would say, is do not feed them cake or ice cream ever. That seems to have been my downfall. So, uh, build the fun gauge through the smile game only, even if they don't like it. Like, just scold them and make them do it again. And, you know, ever since I started not feeding them anything, uh, from the sugar menu. Uh, I have not had one sickness. I have not had one death. Uh, and, oh, and by the way, um, possibly after this game I'll be running the raffle. It sort of depends on if uh, how early I stop. If I beat this game tonight, then I'm going to run the, the raffle, most likely. So feel free to get your vote in. The one thing I don't know how to do is max out the body score. I feel like you have to do the sports game on level C, which is impossible. It's just pure guessing. I've gotten 9 out of 10 at least once on the B difficulty, but to to do it reliably is like just not. It's not a thing. Yeah, the cakes and the ice creams, they increase the fun, um, but I was probably just doing it too frequently, not realizing, like, you know, what the in-game day really meant. So I'm sure if I did it sporadically it wouldn't matter too much, but I'm just not doing it at all. Just playing it safe that way. Uh, I need to get his body up, I need to get your IQ up, and I need to get your IQ and everything up too. Um, let's, let's get your IQ up first. This is the guy I'm hoping will win me the stupid uh, knowledge tournament. He ain't doing so good, though. He ain't doing so very good. That's a good way to go. Deserve some praise for that. So it's almost tournament time, so we gotta make sure you're make sure you're well fed. One. Get that body going here, too. Oh, that's rough. Let me just restart that one. No! Oh, made it. Oh shit, I don't I don't want him to fail. How did I miss that? I was going like right from the start. Oh, that guy jumped on his own too much there. It just takes so many tries to get the four or the uh, the nine out of ten.
Uh. Ooh, I should have had that. I actually don't want to do the first one, I want to do the second one. Yeah, they tried to give it some depth and complexity compared to the handheld little icon thing, and I don't know. They they definitely tried, but it's definitely meant to be for like very little kids and not meant to be played for hours at a time the way I'm doing. All right, so you're good there. I just need to get you a. Uh... Get you some bread or something here. So you're gonna be good, and now you're pooping. Oh no, you grew! Wow, we got a transformation here. All right, got ourselves an adult. Now, before we do much with that, we got uh, we got poopers on our hands. Call me for nothing? Yeah, you're just calling me for nothing. What assholes? Why need babies? Alright, you gotta... Alright, so we're gonna have this adult do the next whatever thing. Oh, wait, hold on. You're gonna poo. Your first adult poo. Congratulations. Blush it away. Alright, let's see what you like. Do you like meat? Mmm, we like cross-eyed. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Cool. Uh, we're gonna do study game! <laughs> yeah, full-fledged rabbit thing. It's a different adult style than the other two. The other two, it's kind of disappointing that they both ended up being the exact same. Not bad. You can you can get a little bit of praise for that. Uh, you can do IQ game. I think you're about ready for a tournament. Let me do one more study. Make sure. All right. Yeah, you're consistently getting all of them right, so that's good. Uh, I think you're good on everything. Praise you again for being good at that. 
And then I think I'm just gonna go for it. I need to feed you first, so let's feed some bread. where you need to be, right? For the most part. Maybe like one more sports game just to lose a little bit of pounds. I don't know if that's actually going to make a difference, but we're going to do it. Getting down to base weight, I don't know if that makes any difference at all, but... That's my fault. Me. I had like four in a row. There we go. Okay. All right, let's try it. Tournament time. Last time I did this, they got to the third question of the highest level, or what I think is the highest level. So every time I've done this, I have passed the low section without a problem. Uh, but if you miss one question in this top section, then you're screwed. Last time you messed up that question. Yeah! Uh, I think that's a... that's that's a win. <laughs> I mean, I did not lose, right? <laughs> if I look at their stats, do I have like a thing now? Yes, I do. Okay, so I have like the little circle above his head. Which is not above the other ones. So that means I got the uh, I got the tournament with them. So that's cool. Alright, that's awesome. Um, I can ignore you for a little bit. Get your fun rating up. So I want to get him to pose. kind of sad. It's like anticlimactic almost. You know? Um, okay, so you're good on everything except for the body parts. Let me, let me get the, uh, get some sports games going here. Like, it said great. I understand that it said great, but at the same time, I don't know. I wanted more. I wanted, like, an actual, like, certificate or something, you know? Or some sort of congratulations screen before just being brought back out to show him pooping? Uh, Chinako, I think it's your son. And he just won his knowledge tournament. I'll show you, kind of. Uh, so you got boring... See his little icon in the upper left-hand corner there where it's bouncing around? So there's boring. Uh, now that I won the tournament, you have a little circle above your deal. So congratulations, you just won the math tournament thing. And then Flip Pit 2 finally grew up. And he is now uh, the Mickey Mouse ripoff. Flicky pouts. So I'm about to do another tournament with the, um, 
actually, yeah, screw this. I don't care about Flip It right now. Uh, I'm gonna do the Pose Tournament with Boring um, in a minute. I need to just get him a little bit more... Sportsified. Cancel up before he officially loses. That's the American way. Of course. Well, come on now. Some bullshit. Not bad, not bad. So yeah, just two more tournaments left and I'm and I'm good with him. Uh let's good on that. Let's go ahead and we will uh praise you for doing well in the game. Let's feed you a tiny bit of bread right before the contest, because it's your favorite of the non toxic foods. Let's go ahead and we'll just do the post tournament. I really don't know how it works at the yeah, beauty tournament. Look at that pose! It's probably not a winning pose. I don't remember what my other try was. Oh, that's a nice pose. Damn it, I lost already. Oh, oh that's, that's, that's disgusting. No one likes that. No porcupine creature. <laughs> I was three points away from winning. Sorry, bud. Alright, Flip Pit. It's your your chance here. Um, what do you need? A little bit of food, a little bit of fun. You probably need that. Uh, do you like carrots? <laughs> God, I'm ugly. I got second place in a beauty contest, though, so it's like $10 for me, right? That's Monopoly rules. Kazuo Sawa was one of the composers because it's in his style, but I wonder why he didn't compose a GB SGB soundtrack as he did for one of the other games. It, I mean, this probably did not have a huge, huge budget, you know? This is probably a very quick slapdash type of a deal. If I had to guess. I'm gonna try something a little bit different with this guy. Because uh, he needs to win the race thing. That, that's my plan, is to try to have him win the race thing. So I'm going to let them be a little bit more autonomous after I get him to win the B 
side of things. Oh, he's going pretty fast. He might be my best hope. That was pretty good. Let's give you some praise. Yay. I wish the instruction manual gave you a little bit more um, instruction on how the tournaments work. Like in the beauty contest, do I get to pick the pose? Like, because I'm hitting like directions and I'm hitting the A button as if that might make a difference. Like maybe I get to pick what he's doing, but it probably doesn't have anything to do with that. I just want to believe it might. Um, all right, let's try. Yeah, let's try sports game. You're probably gonna fail, but we'll give him a shot. Maybe letting them have more control of themselves is what's going to make the difference on this. So I'm going to try it a few times and see what happens. Well, why didn't you jump a second time? It's so hard not to just take control over them. Uh, Chinako, did you vote in the most recent poll? I don't remember if you did or not. If you haven't, and if you're here. Feel free to do so. As I get ready to flush. I wonder, can I do an upper tournament with him? Tournament is over, return to him. Um. Oh, too much stress. do here? Nothing I need to worry about this way. Should I just... Maybe I'll just try the race? You know what? I'll do one more sports. I'll do one more sports on its own. And then I should probably... Oh, that's not a good start. I need to at least catch the first one. He's terrible. He is terrible. Okay. Um, your stats suck, but let's see what the race is even like. Okay. I'm just... Oh. Like, I'm kind of, like, mashing A. All right, well, that's easy. I'm assuming that's just the first round, though, right? There's fourth place. There's third place, a different Mickey-looking guy. The armadillo that lost the beauty contest. And then me! You can do it, you can do it, you can do it! Oh no, you can't. Oh, I got second place, though. Damn. So yeah, probably... Okay, I wonder... Oh man, I wonder if that means that the beauty thing is two rounds, too. 
Won't that be interesting? Uh, the race is gonna be my biggest challenge in this whole venture. Okay, let's get Chineko up here. Uh, you... Need to eat. Big time. So the first race is no problem. Second race I probably do have to be fully maxed out. three tournaments. Chineko got the knowledge tournament done. Now I need to do the beauty and the race. And I've gotten second place in both. Wait, am I done? I think I got this. Hold on. I think I did one too many. Give you a link to the win. You'll just have to kind of watch the VOD at this point right now. I don't think it was clipped. Uh, food. That's what he needs. He needs food. I have a carrot. I know, you don't like carrots. Eat it anyway. Oh yeah, if you're oh if you're talking about give you a link for voting, you've already voted for the uh, the next round of games. I meant he won the tournament within this game. Besides, you actually voted twice when you can only vote once, so... <laughs> I'm taking your first entry in terms of the uh, the actual next game voting thing. Trying to be all sneaky. Multiple votes. Blame Society. I just watched the movie called Society. I don't know if you ever heard of it, but, uh... That is... That is not one to watch with, with the... With your... Kid. <laughs> it's like a horror movie from, I think, 1980 or 81? No, it wasn't made in 91. We just watched it for fun. Not part of the podcast, but there's like a lot of grotesque uh, special effects and stuff in the ending sequence. How do you vote? Skew the votes to your favor? I don't know. You already have enough. Like it's it's already whatever you've done in the past is what you need to do because you have like four games in a row that are your picks. Speaking of the podcast, I need to have a uh, link or something in that I could put into chat. We're in the middle of airing our horror month episodes now. 
we, we premiered uh, the third of the four this week, and then next week we're doing The Unborn. We need more food. And then next month is Food Month on the podcast. Oh, but yeah, I'm hoping I can beat this game tonight. It's what, 8 o'clock right now, so I got like a couple hours to, to go through more days of attempts. So I'm hoping I can do it. Um... And then I'll probably run the vote. I'm going to be doing a lot of streaming next week. I have the week off of work, and, and a lot of my plans for that week off is to do, like, daytime streaming. So I know that probably people can't necessarily join, but I'm trying to... I'll use that as an opportunity to make a little bit more progress on the challenge, hopefully. Several episodes behind? Well, that's fine. I, you know, I'm happy you're listening at all. That's really cool. We had a really big um, surge a couple weeks back. Our episode on People Under the Stairs got a bunch of downloads in one day. It's already, like, in our top ten episodes of all time. Even though it's only been out for... I guess now two weeks exactly. And it's episode 32, I want to say? So. Then our episode on What About Bob is in our top five. Which is crazy. I've started, I've started trying to put them on YouTube as well. So I have like seven of the episodes up on YouTube where I have screenshots that match the edit of the podcast. Uh, so I'm slowly trying to get that in there to, you know, have another source of people finding us. Working from home is not a bad thing, in my opinion. I know you may not like it as much, but I much prefer it. I don't think they did. Yeah, once you get to the once you get to the people living under the stairs, people under the stairs uh, episode, you'll see that I we do not treat those people under the stairs unfairly at all. We are on their side. <laughs> oh yes, I do have a podcast. Uh, my wife and I started it. Um, yeah, I should create that. There you go. I'm allowed to post links. Um, 1991 Movie Rewind, a podcast where we watch and review every movie released in 1991. From the all-time greatest classics to critically panned and everything in between, we will rediscover forgotten fan favorites and uncovered hidden gems as we explore the depths of direct video Join us in our celebration of the fun, unique, and diverse films of this highly underrated year. This week, we watched The Terror Within 2. Uh, but yeah, we're only watching stuff from 1991. Well, we're not only watching that, but we're only podcasting about 1991 movies. Been doing it for uh, nearly 40 weeks at this point. Amazingly enough. But it's been fun. It's been a good project. Mostly just killing time until they're ready. 
Uh, I should feed him again. I need to. I need to get this guy's stupid. I need somebody to do well in the stupid whatever. Yeah, exactly. That's one way to spend a pandemic. That's definitely part of it. <laughs> It started because we were doing a lot of like movie parties and we noticed that several of the movies that we liked were from 1991 and so we're like what else was released that year and then my wife just was like oh my god some of these are this is like my childhood on this list so we decided to talk about it I think I need to feed Chinako. I don't want him to die, even though he served his purpose, and I don't really care if he doesn't. Even... I'll probably have him do. Um... I don't know. I, I might have him do the uh, the pose contest as well. Yes, podcast is available on all the major podcasting platforms. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Letterboxd, just search 1991 Movie Rewind, or go to 1991movierewind.com for the full list of 800 plus movies, show notes, and more. <laughs> you remember when I hate things and then have to explain them? Uh, the exasperated size, is that what you like the most? I think some of the uh, the best episodes we've done have been for the best movies because I feel like we, you know, are hopefully able to explain why they're good, and you know the ones that have like multiple layers and you know some openness to interpretation. That's that's been a lot of fun to discuss. I think, yeah, you're good there. Let's get you a little bit more food. Like, if I feed him a bunch of carrots, is he gonna be fast like a rabbit and he'll go after the. You're deaf, sub. Oh, you're you getting tired already? Oh, it's been a long day. I was just about to make you work. Just about to make you work for me. Alright, you're up though. Uh, what can I make you do? You're getting fat. Let's work you out. This is when you both sound like you had to suffer. <laughs> well, listen to this week's episode! <laughs> It's in both of our bottom ten of the year. For the terror within two. And take a look at the cover. It looks like Goatsy. Yeah, we definitely try to mix it up, though. We try to find, like, some of the more popular movies and then some of the lesser-known ones, and, you know, we're in the, the... We're in a position now where we can just do... themes. So we can sort of mix it in and do, like, direct-to-video stuff. Or stuff that was originally direct-to-video. Um... And then mix it in with, like, you know, top 50 box office hits. It maintain people's interest of, you know, the more mainstream stuff. Damn. Oh, why did I choose level C? That was stupid.
All right. Yeah, I'll probably... I need to create a command for that. Um, let's see here. So only the one guy is asleep right now. You could use a little more food. I can give you a carrot, which you don't like as much, but too bad. And let's see if I can get him going with the sports game. They, I don't know if they would learn to get 9 out of 10 on their own. Isn't it bedtime for these guys yet? Just go to sleep so I can move to the next day. We all know nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, I've been trying to guide them, and that also doesn't work, because... I mean, you see how this works. If it's too away, you can't always get to it. So, I'm forcing them... I can force them to jump by pressing A. And, you know, press the direction. But I figure, well, maybe if that's not working, then maybe they'll go faster without my guidance? But either way, like, 9 out of 10, that's just... You're waiting for a huge lucky bounce. And there are a lot of times like that where you catch it before it hits the ground and it just doesn't count, so... I mean, what can you do? It's... It's the, uh... It's the least flesh out of the three minigames. Yeah. Several of these I feel like I'd catch, but I don't. Bedtime yet? Like you're asleep, right? You're still asleep? Good. I don't think I've had a single time where they've, you know, been maxed out on their body meter, and I, I do worry that that's going to be necessary to win that race. Um, I'm just not sure if that's, I don't know, I don't, I don't know how it's, how it's going to work. forest I'm just saying that the game mechanic itself is broken thanks to the stupid way it decides to uh... like C is whatever because you know it's like oh the questions are the same every single time you can guide them and it's like hey go up or right up or left whatever it is and they'll listen to you most of the time But, you know, they'll eventually get it on their own, 
or they'll eventually listen to your guidance. The ball thing is even if they listen to your button inputs, the balls move too fast to be caught. Um, and so you're screwed. They're both still sleeping. <clears throat> <laughs> what if I blow into the mic? So yeah, like even like in that case where it's just two away. No, I was too slow, so... Oh, that wasn't a catch. So I deal with that kind of crap. Even if I recognize the ball basically instantly, if it's in certain positions, then I'm just fucked. So I don't, I don't know what the. So that's why I was thinking, like maybe if they move autonomously, then they'll catch them more frequently. Like they'll have a better sense as to where they need to go, instead of me reacting to when I see it on screen. You know, because it's a computer. Let the computer do whatever a computer does, and maybe that'll work out. But I don't have any evidence to back that up. Um, the other thing is I was hoping that if you do the body on level B enough that it would fill out your meter, but I don't think that's how it works. Oh, you little asshole. After I just praised you for doing well. Yeah, that's right. Poop out your disappointment. Alright, uh... So I think the only thing I can really do is hope for the best and get super lucky with, like, one of these... Because I have gotten 9 out of 10 a couple times. Or, like, once or twice. I don't know. It's very, very rare. But it has happened. And mostly it's just been through pure luck, so maybe I just have to keep trying until I get that pure luck again. I've already lost. Oh, bullshit, that didn't count. Come on, really? Oh, you son of a bitch. I can't believe you didn't count that one. I would have had it if you would have counted that one. These other fucks up yet? Nope. You don't want meat either? What's wrong with you? You gotta eat something, piece of shit. Don't you? Oh, his life's full. No wonder you aren't eating. Still scolding you. <sighs> Try. See, he caught that on his own. That one he missed. All right, fucked up. God, I hate how slow they move. There's absolutely no reason to keep going if I miss the very first one, if I can only miss one in general. Oh my god! Oh, garbage!
Hmm. Why would you go that way? Ain't this fun? This is a game. This is a game that was released to the public. Don't know how much it costs, but it costs something. It costs more than five dollars. Damn it. Hit detection means a lot of work. Oh, that's me. Quit jumping over there, you butthole. Is time not going forward while I do these games? How do I not get that? Ugh. Great. I feel like a professional soccer goalie. If you try to go one way, then the ball goes the other way and you're screwed. And you can't... Again, you can't react, you just have to do it. get it. I don't get it. How? That's the exact same amount of time that it Okay. I don't get it. You'd think that resetting back to the middle would be the exact right thing to do, but it doesn't seem to be. You have to be like perfect. so slow sometimes. Sometimes he's slow and sometimes he's not. He 
Nice, a hole. Oh, come on! Ugh. Why does everything have to be on the outside? Why does that not count? I hate the tit detection in this stupid minigame. Bullshit. Alright, the middle strategy is definitely the way to go. Alright, fucking bullshit game. Give you some praise. Now you better race your freaking heart out. You guys awake yet? Might as well just wait till they're awake. I can't do the race at this point. I can also have Chi and Echo do the race now. Are you? you up? When, when is the, when is the hour change? that mind, work out that body. Even though he did the knowledge test, you probably forgot everything you learned. Yep, you sure did. I also kind of wonder if the tournaments are designed to only be winnable on the third attempt. Because the knowledge one I lost on... I had full meter, right? And I lost on the second question the first try. I lost on the third question the second try. And then I got all three of them on the third try. So I wonder... Same thing with the, uh, the beauty contest thing, right? So I got second both times. Maybe it's because the game has that little barrier and you can't win the tournaments on your first go round. Excuse me. Just a thought. No, no confirmation on that, but you know, they might have padded it out a bit for that. And I have no idea what will actually win the Pose Tournament thing.
if you're not in the first, um, if you're not facing the correct direction, it seems like you can't get to those ones on the edge in time. Tell them to use Thundershock on the other beauty pageant contestants. That'd be nice. It'd be great if I could train them to attack. nice if the most interesting part of the game, which is the tournaments, were not hid, um, you know, hiding behind a adult status Tamagotchi and locked so you can only do them once per day, whereas you have to do this garbage the rest of the time. You're not gonna win this one. Yeah, if you're not facing that direction, it's not happening for you. Alright, I got the technique down, I think. Only took me, what, six hours, six and a half hours of this stupid thing? Alright, so you need to improve your IQ. You're maxed out, except you need more food. out except for your body and you need a little more food and IQ so let's do this let's give you bread no problem come and go as you please uh, study game Do, 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 bam, bam. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Oh, no problem. <laughs> I wasn't saying that about you. <laughs> people are visiting. I mean, you're, you know, feel free to attend to those people. Uh, I will not be offended if you don't join. <laughs> uh, oh, I was trying to do the Brain Age game. The one that makes the player look stupid because your Tamagotchi can't understand basic math equations that you know the answers to. <laughs> I do not want visitors at this time. Herbal wants visitors. I think he just wants to be a visitor. That'd be my guess. Uh, Alright, so we can get this guy's body going up higher. Let's get this fun meter up. I just need a. I just need more time to for hobbies. I've been able to carve out a decent amount of it. I'm looking forward to next week when I can stream a bunch and get. A little bit more progress done on the challenge. Alright, so let's see here. We got, um... We got this guy who's gonna do sports. Miss humans. Humans are overrated.
Yeah, it really is a matter of, like, you better be looking in the right direction for those ones that are farther away. Otherwise, you don't move fast enough. That is the whole challenge. Bullshit. You know I'm gonna max this stuff out no matter how much it takes, right? It's like what if the uh what if the body stats have fixed the posing too? Oh shit, really? Hate it. Instantly lose. Oh yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, okay. Gineco, you're being... You might be the star of the day. You got, um... Is it time to do a tournament yet? Not quite yet. Carrots. What if I win both tournaments of, or not both? I can win two tournaments with Chinecos. Tamagotchi. Oh, nothing? I thought you had to poo.
I only miss certain humans. I don't. I don't. I will not say I miss humans in general. I almost had it. Close. Just keep keep giving me one of these uh Nothing but middle things here. Oh, yeah, the poo should go in his tombstone. It might. He dies of severe constipation. Kachunk, there he goes. Oh, I never praised him for uh, for doing well. Is it too late? Yeah, he doesn't know what I'm praising him for anymore. Uh, you need... what? Food. Let's give you carrots. Maybe carrots will help you move fast, I don't know. Help in the race. Alright, it's now... 12 noon. We got, uh, we got tournament time. Let's go ahead, we will... I'm gonna do one more study game, give him praise for doing well, and then maybe the praise will help out a bit, you know? Maybe it'll help him give a better pose? Who knows? I mean, if mind helps with the knowledge, and if body helps with the race, then you'd think that deed would help with the posing thing, so I need to, like, keep his praise up, and so I want to praise him for doing something good, give him the hearts right above. Right away. Go for it! Alright, beauty. Yeah! Only a 71 for that? I don't like it. I don't like that score. Seventy-two come on. Alright, I have no idea how to win this post thing. I thought I did good. I like that you can see all the different types of Tamagotchi through this, though. That's racist. That's a racist score. What the hell is that? Is that like a prop? Alright. Sorry, boring. You're just not good at anything. All right, um...
here's my plan. I am going to run the race with uh, Flip Pit 2. And then if I win the race, then I'm going to try to do the pose with Chineko. Will you pick right three times, please? It's law of averages. out that poo. Alright, you're doing okay in terms of that. Let's do like one more sports game just to kind of like get you. Instructions don't explain that prop comics are also allowed. No, it actually says nothing about the tournaments other than that they exist. It doesn't tell you like how to play them, like how you can uh, manipulate whatever. Let's praise you for doing well in that. And then flush this guy real quick. enter you into a tournament for the race so like I don't know if I'm doing the t if I, I don't know if I'm doing the race wrong all I'm doing is I'm hitting left I'm not even doing anything else here before I was hitting a so I'm trying to like save my time a little bit I don't know if that like wastes energy if by hitting A and like encouraging him. Uh, but I didn't need it for this first round. Puppy got fourth. The Ultra Mickey got second. Sperm Snake got second, sorry. And then me fake Mickey got first on the first round, and now we go. Yeah, see, now I'm hitting A. Like, I'm mashing A. That helps him go faster. So I definitely made it. I don't know if this means I won the race altogether. I got the great, which probably means I did. Look at that fourth place guy. Why? How did you even make it to the second round? Yeah, so I just won the race. And you'll also know that I won the race because I now have the exclamation point. So I have exclamation point for the race, I have the circle for the knowledge thing, and then um, you have nothing <laughs> boring because you did not win the tournament yet. Oops, wrong button. There we go. Um, so I'm going to try the pose with him. I just gonna, I'm going to feed him up and give him... What if I give him... Nah, I'm not going to risk it. the meat. So now you're full, you're happy, you have everything you want. Let's see if you can win the pose. And then if you can win the pose, then I'm done with the game. Seventy-seven's a good score, I think. Better than 58. Little hedgehog guy. My big chicken. Oh, he's got the shades. Ooh, ooh, still not enough. Alright. Uh oh. Got the plant. Oh my goodness, what is that? An eight?
Yeah, Chianeko is the winner! Entry no one, Chianek is winner. Dude. Uh, that is it. That is end of game. So let's go ahead and we are going to stop the timer right there. Almost seven hours in, we have finally beaten Tamagotchi. We have the two tournaments won by Chianeko. We have one tournament won by Flat Pet 2. And uh, Boring lives up to his name. Didn't win a single thing. That is it. No fanfare. I wish they gave you like some sort of like a screen to say, you know, hey, congratulations on winning this tournament or whatever. Uh, but no, you can't do that. Um, the only thing you can do is I can retire these guys to the Hall of Fame. So let's go ahead and we'll see what that looks like. So we send them home. The winner is me. Uh, we're going to send Flip Pit to return to home planet. He served his purpose well. Is it the scientist shedding a tear? Uh, yes, save him right here on the right hand side. So you're split pit two. So he won one tournament. Um, the exclamation point. Or maybe that's supposed to be like a shoe print. <laughs> that makes sense. So yeah, the heart means that they died, and then the spaceship next to the, his age means that he was sent home voluntarily. And we will send Chianeko home as well. Served his purpose. <laughs> hey, bad dudes, let's go have a burger. Ha ha ha. Is that the way the bad dudes ends? I had it for Commodore, but I think it glitched out. Like it was not beatable. There he is! Got the other two. That is it. So thank you for watching Tamagotchi! That was an interesting experience that I never want to relive.